Hi everybody, welcome back. I've got another quick little workbench update and a little product review to do today. So I thought I'd show off, first I finished off another 10 millimeter uh, cavalry unit for my War of Spanish six session uh, project. And I think I have two more units to go for the cavalry. And that'll be done, and then I just have some artillery to do, uh, and the uh, combined Spanish-French forces will be done. Then I get to work on the Dutch, the Portuguese, and the British. Yay. Anyway, um, so here they are, 10 millimeter. Uh, this is the Blasco uh, unit. Again, another uh, Spanish cavalry unit. Let me just pick one of these up. Bring it up so you can see it. Let's put some light on it. So there you go. I think these turned out really well. And I actually painted all these. Uh, not that there's a lot of them. But I essentially painted them all yesterday. Um, it took me a good portion of the day, but I also took, um, you know, several breaks throughout the day and got sidetracked at other things, but I had them done them by, I don't know, 11 p.m. last night or something. And that included gluing them to the base. So, there we go. Let me take these things off for a second. Uh, that's then. Sorry for my arm there. Let me bring this back out. Readjust here a little bit. Okay. So I started working on bold miniatures uh, uh, Anna scope uh, sculpt sorry can't speak focus maybe maybe there we go um, so again this is the Anna uh, figure from Bold Miniatures which I got off their Kickstarter and in case anybody's interested they just put up another Kickstarter with three different busts um, I bought into that because I actually like their figures uh, they're really crisp and really well done but um, on this one so I started with the flesh tones and the hair I uh, wasn't very happy with the flesh tones to begin with, but I think I've gotten it to a point now where I actually like what I've done with it. And then I started with the skirt, and my color scheme for this is the uh, skirt down here is going to be purple, and I'm going to go with a green for her shirt up here. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I want it to be a dark green or a lighter green. I'm thinking maybe a khaki or you know something in that range I guess and it'll give some nice contrast between the purple down here and her top. The uh, armor and everything else I'll have a whole lot of leather work to do and everything else on here but essentially that's where I'm at with Anna. Uh, this has actually been enjoyable to paint. I'll give that a minute to keep going around. Alright, let me take this one off. And I've been working on the night as well. Let's grab this. Now, I 
So, started working on Pegasus models, um, 54 millimeter night, and I've painted the horse. I've done the horse was done completely with oil paints. Uh, this was a fun sculpt to to do. Um, there were some pretty large seam lines I had to go back and add. Millie put two and then uh, just kind of smoothed down. Oh, and I did find a trick. Uh, if you're using Millie put, uh, you mix it all together and then if you use water, you can actually smooth that down to a point where you don't need to sand it. You can actually use a brush with a little bit of water on it and you can smooth that Milly put completely out without having to sand, which was a really nice step. Took a little bit to get it to that point with the brush and the water, and that may just be because I was trying it for the first time, but it actually works really nice. Uh, the next thing on the horse will be obviously a saddle. Uh, I've done some research into medieval saddles, trying to figure out how the pommel and this backrest were made. Uh, apparently it looks like it was wood covered with leather, so that's probably what it'll end up looking like. And then just painting up the rest of the saddle. And then we'll start with uh, the barding for the horse, and then the knight himself and everything else. Oh, and I did paint the horse's head. Remember the horse's head also has barding on it as well. So there's the horse's head. And there we go. Alright, so now let me clear this off real quick. And I'll be right back and I'm going to do a quick product review. Okay, I'm back. So the product review I'm going to do today is Pulp Figures Dangerous Danes from their Kickstarter. And I just got this in the mail yesterday. Uh, if you're not aware of Bob Murch's work, uh, he does some beautiful casting uh, for all periods for essentially pulp style games, but they could be used pretty much for anything. He has a lot of... Um, Naval figures for like the interwar periods and things like that, and he's 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 just got a lot of stuff. Um, but essentially, I'm just going to show you real quick uh, the packs that I got and um, some of the figures within those packs, and just really what beautiful sculpts they are. So, Dangerous Dames Pulp Figures, their Kickstarter. All right, so let's just start with a pack here. This is labeled number four. I'm not exactly sure if that's the fourth pack or how he just numbered them. But, uh, let's get some more light over here. Sorry for my thumb. There we go. A little bit more light. And we're drifting. Why are we drifting? Okay. Weird, my lights keep moving on me. There we go. Better. Alright, everything is against me today. There we go. Alright. So, here's the first lady. Again, really, really nice sculpts by Bob. Usually very, very little flash, if any at all. I won't go through every single one of them, but I'll just pull out some ones I thought were rather interesting. There's another one. And some really, really cool costumes to paint up to for different... This is something a little bit different. Let's see here. 
This one kind of reminds me of um, Bonnie from Bonnie and Clyde. Just the way the hat looks and everything. Really, really good detail. All right. Like I said, I'm not going to go through every single figure, but I don't want to. Let's see here. Oh, here's some more. Another pack. This one's labeled pack number two. Pull out a couple here. Here we go. This is kind of like the flyer, the pilot. Again, some really, really nice detail on Bob's figures always. That one. Uh, let's pull out one more out of this pack. Oh, here we go. Another adventurer. A little bit of flash off the, just off of here, even though there's the, the uh, strap for the binoculars. But again, really crisp, clean sculpts, lots of detail on these. All right, there was one. Here it is. I'm going to show you this one. This one I thought was really cool. Uh, there is a high priestess. This one's going to be a lot of fun to paint. Lots of detail on here and a lot of different ways to go about painting this one. This one's going to be enjoyable. But what came with that was actually an altar. And there's some feet for the altar. And they'll kind of go together, something like that. And there's another one, since I can't hold it all together. But hey, look at that detail in there. So there's that. But what's really cool. So this is all dangerous dames, right? He also made a male sacrifice figure to go on the altar. There's also the female one as well. And the high priestess um, page assistant but yeah so I thought that was pretty cool and also part of this Kickstarter like I said I'm not going to go through all the figures but there's also packs of animals there's birds uh, let's see here birds Turtles, owls, big giant lizard, looks like a cat. Then there is also different uh, bags, handbags, cameras, lights, different types of flashlights. Knives, more packs and things like that to add. Just loads of stuff to really uh, change these figures up. And also, one of the um, uh, stretch goals was this motorcycle with. Where's the driver? Here it is. 
I forget what she what he called them, but essentially a female motorcycle driver. And it's also got a little sidecar to go with it. And with that, uh, a little woman with a gun that also goes with that. Handlebars. There's a pooch to ride in the sidecar. <laughs> another uh, another dog. So, so uh, Bob's stuff is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Put those away for a second. Show you some of the other ones here. Oh, here's the. Let's pull these out. The Asian lady. The Kung Fu master. Another one, Swordmaster. Another priestess or noble, whatever you decide. And it's the 1920s era. Gangster. A little bit of flash on this one, but pretty much. Oh yeah, this one, this one definitely looks like Bonnie from Bonnie and Clyde. Look at that. The gun over the back of her shoulder. And then the last pack. Some more of the adventurers. Indiana Jane, I guess. <laughs> One of these actually has, where is it, ah oh, yeah, so I thought this was pretty cool. This one actually has, and it comes with a pin, so there's this pin and this woman, and it comes with a parasol. This kind of reminds me of, um, kind of like Agatha Christie's Miss Marple. Another adventurer. Kind of the Russian female adventurer, I guess. So that's it. Again, Dangerous Dames, the Kickstarter by Pulp Figures. This was. Uh, an excellent one to get into. Here you can actually see the motorcycle right around it. Um, but that's all I have, folks. I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with everybody's videos and commenting as much as possible. And um, like I said, I hope everybody's staying healthy and, and safe during this bizarre time that we're having right now. And um, to everybody who's newly subscribed, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the content. And if you do like the video, please like, comment, and share. And I try to uh, answer back if you leave a comment. If you have any questions, leave them below. And I'll leave a link for Pulp Figures in the description. So again, everybody have a wonderful day, great weekend, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye.